So speaking of December. Yeah. There is a yeah. TLC match pitting Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman. And if Baron Corbin wins, he becomes the permanent Raw general manager. But if Strowman wins, he gets a universal title match at Royal Rumble? No, I thought he was already guaranteed one. No. That's the stip- He's got to beat Corbin? Yeah. Oh. And if Strowman wins, he gets the universal title match at Royal Rumble, and Corbin loses all of his authority. Oh. But here's the kicker. The match isn't even confirmed because we don't know if Braun Strowman's healthy enough to actually have it. Well, you know he's going to come out of an ambulance (laughs) and he's going to scream, I'm not finished with you or get these hands or something. Ambulances don't drop people off at the fucking... They did that already. (laughs) The sirens are going to go off throughout the arena. Oh. And then everyone's going to look around really confused and then it's going to show up on the Titan Tron and it's going to show Braun Strowman stepping out of the ambulance. In the same clothes that he left in. He's going to... Mix up his two catchphrases. He's going to jumble them. I'm not finished with these hands. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to get these, you. (laughs) That's I'm not finished with you at the end of you're going to get these hands. (laughs) You're going to be finished with these hands. (laughs) And then he's going to yell. Uh, so obviously his recovery from elbow surgery plays a huge factor here uh but here's here's a left turn for you okay you ready i'm I'm listening if he's not healthy enough to compete which they will decide probably sunday morning yeah at around 11 o'clock yeah kurt angle shows up and takes his spot in a tlc match in a tlc match Versus Baron Corbin because they have the built-in storyline of one of them winning the GM role. That would be too obvious, though. That would be like that would make way too much sense. I know. So sue me. What if it's Kane? What if Kane shows up? Oh my God! I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it's just Kane. But Kane just shows up for no reason but it's, whatsoever. It's, it's like. Corporate Kane. Corporate Kane. So uh. it's Corporate Kane in a suit wrestling uh, Constable Corbin in, in, his, the vest. in the vest and the dress pants and everything in a TLC oh match. Oh, my God. And it's the wingtip shoe versus brogue shoe. <laughs> who will win? Oh, my God. You know, who, you know who would lose? All of us. That's who would lose. Uh, so if not, so if it's not the Kurt Angle thing uh, and Strowman still isn't healthy enough, what a waste of the stipulation, mm-hmm. right? Because at least if Kurt Angle shows up, you get the match. Or if someone shows up. But who else could it be? I think Kurt Angle is a natural fix that match, please. Yeah, for sure. It's a bit brutal to just throw him into a TLC match, but he did one last year with the with, with the, the shield. shield. True. Although he was barely in that match, if we're going to be he honest. He really was not in that match very long at all. <laughs> but at least it's got an action figure. Anyway, <sighs> uh, aside from all of that, I honestly think that Corbin has huge potential and has really come into his own with the time that he has on the mic every week. And I really just wish he would stop wrestling in formal wear. Yeah, uh, that never made sense to me. I think we talked about this. We once. we've talked about this as soon as it where happened. if you're a, if you're a character in, in an authority role, for whatever reason you have to wrestle in formal clothing. Vince what must, sense does that? Vince must think it's funny. No, oh, look at him. Hope he doesn't rip his he's, pants. He's he's losing the crease on his khakis. <laughs> like, <laughs> Uh, that's ridiculous. He's going to have to visit his tailor after this. <laughs> Forget all that ring gear that you have. Go out and buy like eight suits. Right. Like specially, specially made ring gear with your name on them, with your logos emblazoned on them. The cool jackets. Don't wear that stuff. Yeah. Don't wear any of that. Just go out 
wear your dress pants. You got this. I have Corbin winning um, in any event. If Kurt Angle shows up, I have Corbin winning. If Braun Strowman shows up, I have Corbin winning. Really? Yeah. So if if Strowman shows up, I've got Strowman. Because what I think is going to happen is Heath Slater will be the referee. Yes. And he'll refuse to count Strowman out or whatever. Something dumb that doesn't make any sense yeah, you know, within the match type. Yeah, yeah. Count, count him out in a TLC match. That would be great. Just like we got a, a no contest in a Hell in a Cell. Ugh. So it's not like out of the realm of possibility. Tag champion. Don't bring up that. Don't bring up the <laughs> fact that there's a 10-year-old. Is, no. It's not out of the realm of possibility in order to have some weird thing happen. But I'm going to say Slater's not going to count out Strowman, and then Strowman's going to show up, and he's going to win. Right. I just I don't know what they would do with Corbin if he wasn't in this role. I don't think he'd be on TV very often if he wasn't in this role. You could get Strowman on TV regularly. So that's why I think that Corbin's going to win. That makes sense. And I'd be all right with Corbin winning. The match might not even happen, to be completely honest. Exactly. Exactly. So, but so I so what I'd really like to happen is Strowman is not cleared medically. They don't have the TLC match and they leave all the stuff out there and then the New Day match happens after that. Or it'll wind up being like Rollins and Ambrose. I don't, well, I don't. I'm just saying. I want the triple threat TLC tag match because they will get so much, so much buzz on the internet for doing that because everybody's going to love that match. It'll, it'll absolutely be the match of the night if they do that. I, I agree. All right. So anyway, 